Welcome to 2020. Today is actually uh, 2020 to 2020. Uh, this is going to be my first video that I've actually made this year. Um, and I actually have a great new part that I want to show you. Uh, do a little unboxing. It's not really a lot of unboxing to do, but I really want to talk about it. Um, this in particular, I can get into it. This in particular is going to be the new Garrett Turbo. This is a G20, uh, sorry, G30. 770. So what this is, is uh, pretty much a replacement for their, um, the last gen two, which is gonna be the GT 3076 turbo, which is good to about 750 uh, horsepower, uh, which is calculated at uh, about 750-ish uh, uh, pounds per minute. Um, so what's really cool about this one is that they've actually made the compressor wheel smaller and they also have made the turbine uh, the turbine housing smaller. They actually uh, inc uh, made, used different materials to make it withstand you know, better anti-lag and things like that. So this is actually, you know, a lot of people are saying this is actually one of the best turbos right now on the market. Um, and one thing I really like about it is just how, uh, if you look at the sizes, it's really equivalent to a 3071 in size but it puts out the power of, uh, you know, 3076 of last gen and even the gen before that of uh, 3582 almost. Uh, so, which is, is really exciting uh, to hear. So, uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. Um, so I actually started unboxing this because I was actually really, really excited about it. Um, and this in particular one has the exhaust housing. Uh, it's gonna be the 80.83 exhaust housing. And I actually opted for uh, getting V-band in and out uh, for later upgrades. So right now I'm actually gonna use it with my SPA manifold, which is a T4. Uh, and then I'm gonna do an adapter for that um, because later on I definitely would like to go uh, full, you know, uh, equal length header uh, manifold for it. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, Let's pull it out of the box. As you can see here, it's actually uh, wrapped pretty well. Uh, I got this from ATP Turbo, um, and uh, they shipped it pretty quickly, and I didn't have any issues with it, so definitely check them out. Um, let's go ahead. I'm not sure the best way to pull this out, so I'm going to reach in there and grab. This thing is about... Oh, 20 pounds, maybe? So, yeah, about 20 pounds. As you can see, there's not really much in the packaging um, here. So, uh, we we'll can just sort of set that to the side here so you can kind of have a better view. Uh, my lighting is not the greatest in here, but um, it will do, and hopefully these videos help you out. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, it comes with two, these are the two V-band, uh, one's, for, one's for the um, in, inlet and one's for the outlet uh, or, or the exhaust side. So it comes with that. It also comes with a uh, gasket for the oil return. And these, these turbos are uh, water cooled and uh, they also have lubricated with oil. So unlike uh, some of the other turbos that I've had, uh, that were only oil cooled, which is more a nicer to set up, but these are designed uh, almost to OEM spec. And that's one thing I really like about it. And I, you know, and I'm moving away from more performance is when you start doing more OEM spec, I've noticed that you have a lot more reliability in your car. So um, I actually think that's pretty cool. Um, there is a zip tie on here and I don't know if I have a tool to cut the zip tie. Let me We'll just rip it open. What do you say? Um, I'm too excited about this. You can't tell. All right. Boom. So it's actually one thing that's really cool. Uh, if you notice, uh, just make sure it spins okay. Yep, it spins pretty nicely. That's all I'm going to do. I'm, I'm worried about touching too much stuff without it actually being properly lubricated. So I'm actually not going to go ahead and touch too many things and spin it 
uh, unlubricated. But what's really neat about it, as if you can see, is actually a V-band clamp here on the exhaust for clocking. So that's gonna make it a lot easier to clock. And then it has these bolts on the outside um, to help clock the turbo uh, to the correct location that you need, especially when you're doing all kinds of setups. One thing that's really cool about these new turbos is they actually come with a speed sensor wheel, which is great if you're uh, tuning to the, and you need to know if, if you're over spinning the turbo um, and you can, you know, and that'll end up decreasing the life of it. Uh, so this is great. Um, you know, you can just, it's really, the quality is just really great. You have this beautiful, uh, Garrett sign. I just love it when it's when they say when they write it on there exactly. You know the brand. You can you can uh, enjoy it, enjoy the part. So let's see here. Uh, you can see the stainless steel. It, it feels like if I didn't know any better, I would have assumed it was iron. Um, it looks it looks and feels a lot like iron, but it's just the uh, sort of per perfor uh, perforated style casting on it. So, but it's definitely the stainless steel. So it's really nice about it. Um, yeah, it pretty much looks like a turbo. So they actually have the options for two, uh, two different locations for the, where the water lines come uh, enter and return. So you can actually adjust that to make it a little easier to install on your application for your application. Um, and that's, there you go, is the oil return. And that's pretty much it. I mean, this is uh, pretty much one of the cooler turbos out there. Uh, it actually looks big. So my previous turbo was, uh, I don't wanna say the brand, but it was rated for uh, 800 horsepower. And it actually, the flow rating was actually 80, 80 pounds. So it was really way too laggy. Uh, if you look at some of the other videos that I have on my channel, you can see maybe some in-car video and it's just like, you know, lag, lag, lag. So uh, this should hopefully fix that and uh, allow some greater performance. Uh, stay tuned, cause I'm definitely gonna video and record the dyno tune that I do of this and uh, or maybe I'll just release this video when with the dyno tune attached to it. So then you can see just the type of power that this could make on a 2JZ. Um, and like I said, there's, I think I'll be one of the few videos out there that have this. So uh, hopefully you get to see that firsthand uh, because this is really amazing turbo. And it's really amazing where turbo technology has come even in just in the last five years. That's it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh give the thumbs up if you like this video and also leave in the comments um what turbo you have uh if you're running a 2jz i'd love to know uh what type of response and what type of lag that you're getting uh for me when i'm driving um when i get off the throttle and get back on it uh that's the type of lag that I, <laughs> that i am working to get past because definitely i'm like i've straightened out you know, trying to follow somebody, you get off of it and then you get back on it and then you get nothing and then the wheels grip up and uh, you are no longer drifting. So hope, pretty confident this is gonna fix it. Pretty confident I'm not gonna lose any uh, low end either. So that's really cool and gain all of the spool that I've always ever wanted. Spool for life, spool for days. Cool, stay sideways.